Last but not least is question 15, this is quite a wee small one, just a one page. So what you've got is an architecture of a computer, so you input devices, output, back in storage, and then this is your processing unit with your memory as well. And the first question is, for each of the following, state the name of the part being described. So data is held in a temporary basis during processing, money is held temporarily in a shop before it's put in the bank, it's held in the register. Down there. This is responsible for timing of events within the processor, okay, so it controls the timing and order of events. That's your control unit. And last but not least, the logical operators are used here, okay, so all your ands and ors and nots, and that is in your ALU or arithmetic logic unit. Next week question talks about the block diagram was saved as a bitmap. Explain one advantage of saving it as a bitmap. Okay, so a bitmap. You zoom into a bitmap. It's made of the wee squares called pixels. Okay, so that's the smallest part. So it's picture element. And that's what that stands for. And you can actually edit each individual pixel. So you can go into an individual pixel and change the color. Okay, so that's a good advantage of that. And the block diagram could also be saved as a vector graphic to describe how vector graphics would be stored in memory. Now, they're stored as objects, so you can have an ellipse or a circle, you can have a rectangle, okay, you could have a triangle. So they're stored as individual ob objects, and their attributes, which just really means it might be the xy coordinates okay, of the corners or the, or the, the center. It might then be the fill colour, the line colour, okay? So it's actually saved mathematically a description in how you recreate this object on your page, and that's all it's saved. So more often than not, it's a smaller file size and a bitmap. The more objects you put into your vector image, then the file size does increase, okay? So the file size does get bigger and bigger the more objects you have. But you tell it what objects, and then you tell it all the attributes or the characteristics of that object in order for the computer to recreate it each time it needs to on the computer. Okay? And as it says there, that's the end of your question paper.